So this machine is known as a metal work lathe or a centre lathe. It turns materials at high speeds. You can turn various types and various profiles of metal, round bar, hexagonal bar, square bar, and you can turn various profiles of plastic. You're going to be turning in metal. So the parts of the metal lathe are as follows. You've got the headstock that houses all the gears. You've got <coughs> the three jaw chuck and guard cover. You've got what's known as the tool post. This is a quick change tool post. You pull this handle anti-clockwise to the left in order to loosen the quick change tool post and you turn it clockwise in order to tighten it. You've got the cross slide that moves the tool post adjacent to the face of the material, clockwise and anti-clockwise to move it across the face. You've got what's known as the saddle or apron slide, that's this one here. You've got what's known as the compound slide, that's this one here. That moves the tool post and the tool parallel to the workpiece. You've got the tailstock over here. And this bit here is what's known as your bed. So the way that you adjust the gears on this particular centre lathe is to look at the gear ratio chart. There'll be a chart above the lathe that explains the speeds that you need to turn it to. But let's say, for example, I wanted to set the speed to 60 revolutions per minute. I would set the first dial that determines the colours to black. I would set the second dial, which gives me the number one or two to one. And to do that, I would need to pull the little three jaw chuck slightly and turn the gear to one. And then the last one's going to be the letter, and it's A. So I'd set this to A. And that's now going to spin, spin at 60 revolutions per minute. So it's set to black, set to one, and set to A. If I'm wanting to turn at a speed, for example, of 835 revolutions per minute, well, I'll look at it, what's the colour that it's in? It's in black, so I'll set it to black. Then look at gear one or gear two, it's gear two. So I'll set that into gear, lovely. And then the last thing that I check is the ratio that it's on, and it should be. <coughs> C, last hour, you work from left to right. I set this to C, and that's now in gear to spin at 835 revolutions per minute. Colour black, gear two, and then letter C on here. Thanks. Your most common one is just a general purpose cutting tool used for facing off and for parallel turning. Knurling tool, and this creates diamond patterns on your material for grip. You've got a parting tool that cuts through the material to part it off. A centre or jobbing drill that allows you to centre drill into material. A what's known as a revolving centre that goes into your tailstock. A three jaw chuck that goes into your tailstock. You've got a chuck key that opens and closes the three jaw chuck on the metal lathe. And you've got a tool post key that opens and closes the parts of the tool post. So what we're going to look at next is how you correctly set the height for a cutting tool on this. So let's take our general purpose cutting tool, this one here, and you put it into your tool post. To do that, you're going to need the tool post key, you're going to need your tool, and you're also going to need little bits of material that act as razors to bring it up to the centre, because the cutting edge of this tool needs to hit the exact centre of the piece that you're turning, just like on a wood lathe. So what you do is you check tool post is tight, then you put the tool into here and tighten it up with the tool post key until it is secure. Go. So take your revolving centre, put the revolving centre into the tailstock, bring the tailstock depth gauge out just a little bit and slide the shank of the revolving centre into there and it won't move. You're then going to need to move the apron slide of the lathe towards the tool post and turn the cross slide across the material. There we go. Just so that the cutting edge of the tool, you can check to see that it's there, that it's actually at the correct height. You'll need to also loosen off compound slide. So loosen this off like so. Loosen off around this side with my spanner. Like that. 
tighten up. And this one here, tighten up. And this is going to allow me to check, see, that the tool is at the correct height. And you can see just now the tool is far too low from the center. It's not cutting at the correct place. So we're going to need to raise it up, as has been said, by inserting those little packers. Right, so setting the tool height correctly, you need to loosen off the <coughs> tool again with my tool post key like so and then put underneath this a little set of razors and that's going to raise the cutting edge of the tool to hit the center of the revolving center it's locked into the tailstock so I put my cutting tool back into here and I want to see that the edge of the cutting tool touches the tip of the revolving center yeah and once that's there in place Great, I'm going to re-tighten this back up with my tool post key. So now the tool is set to the correct height and we can begin to actually turn the machine on and cut. So to put your material into the lathe, you need your material and your three-jaw chuck key. You need to check that the teeth of the three-jaw chuck close evenly all the way around the material and that you never, ever leave the chuck key in the three-jaw chuck. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the material in the three-jaw chuck and I'm going to take my three-jaw chuck key, insert it into one of the ports and rotate clockwise. There we go. I give it a spin to check to see if it's spinning centrally. And if you have a look at this just now, that's not that's not working correctly just now. Yeah. So the way it should be done correctly, put the material into the three-jaw chuck, tighten the teeth. Okay. That's one of the key ports done. The second one, give them each a little turn. Two. Okay, so you notice now I spin it, the three teeth of the three-jaw chuck have tightened round the material and it's now safe and ready for use. Make sense? So now you get your material set up into the lathe, you get your tool correctly set to the right height, you got the gears set, it's now time to do a facing off cut. The facing off cut, just loosen the quick change tool post and turn it in a small amount so that the cutting edge of the tool is going to hit the face of the material and I do my final checks. My material is secure in the vise with the three jaw chuck. My tool post and tool, they are tightened and at the correct height. The cutting edge of the tool is close to the material so I use my cross slide and my compound slide to get it to be in place and I'm safe and ready to go. Okay, so now you can turn the machine on. And I'm ready to do my cut. I'm out and down, take hands onto the cross slide. And I'm just gonna cut carefully across the face of the material. Keeping an eye on what I'm doing, foot's near the emergency stop, 